welcome back to our channel so guys today we are going to create this sheet metal exercise in solid work so let's see how we do this in solid work and uh, later we will uh, create uh, bending file for this cutting so later we will uh, do make this uh, dxf file for cutting laser cutting so look how we create and uh, we create bend bending drawing also so I hope you will enjoy this tutorial. So look how we create this sheet metal part. And here we can see the flat flattened view for this sheet metal design where we require to bend this uh, file. So it is the flattened view for sheet metal. So here we can uh, give the bending uh, lines to bend this sheet metal body. So look how we do this. So now it's create so go to the file now select part ok now the solid or background open here we change the background to plain white so make it plain white ok now here we select uh, front plane right click sketch normal <coughs> so here we create the center line and make sure it is a uh, vertical and horizontal from this center point so select here and it is a horizontal line and again go to the center line and make sure it is vertical to the this center point ok so make it now here it's time to create center point R so go to the R and here we select center point R and create up to here now it did this sketch and here we select this line and this point and make the relation coincident so it's comes to this position okay now select this center line and this point so select and make it coincident also now we make it 60 radius okay so here it's time to uh, extrude this sheet metal. So here uh, go to the features. Now it did this sketch. Sorry, not feature. We uh, go to the sheet metal parameters. Okay. Now here we it will ask the length of this sheet metal body. So we make it 150 mm length and here we will give the thickness 1.5 mm and bend radius also 2 mm. K factor 0.5 and auto relief will be 0.5 also. So we just make it ok. So here we are create this sheet metal body through a uh, base flange. Ok. Now here. Uh, we just apply the material so go to the appearance and here we select chrome and here we select brush chrome so select simply select and drag so material will be applied ok now here we can change the color so double click on it select the color ok and make the some dark blue okay now we uh, make the base flame edge flame not base flame so select this edge and this edge so here we make the edge flame separately so select this edge and here we make the distance 20 mm only so make it 20 mm just make it and make the material bend so first we make it 20 mm okay and make the material bend outside so it comes from this uh, bend from outside okay so we just uh, make the color some little light color okay so it looks better so again go to the edge flame select this edge and bend radius will be 2 2 mm okay and here we will give the length so make the length 20 mm 
and here flange position so it will select bend outside so it will be bend from this outside of this edge okay so here we create this sheet metal body so again we make the cutout for uh, flange fitting so just we select this face right click sketch normal okay so here we can change this uh, appearance so select this one and untick this and we enter this here we create center line make sure it is vertical okay and again select uh, center point straight slot and make create from this here okay now go to the smart dimension select this one and select this one and make this length only 15 mm okay again we go to the smart dimension and select this point and this point so here we uh, keep the gap only 8 mm okay so just make it 8 mm so we again make the dimension from this edge to this center point of this straight slot and make it 25 mm and again we just select this edge outer edge and this center point straight slot and here we give it 8 mm cap okay so here we make this gap opposite side so it's better to make the mirror feature so just we create the center line from this center point okay and here it it's option to mirror so we go to the mirror command it will ask entity to pattern so select this center point straight line and make the mirror from this center point okay so here we just make the mirror to this side so select this one and mirror about so select the center line okay so we just make the mirror to this opposite side okay so here it's time to make the extruded cut so just go to the feature select extruded cut and here it will also link to thickness so we cut this uh, body up to here okay so we just cut out this portion So here we are uh, go to the fillet and here we make the chamfer. So select this chamfer and make the chamfer 4 mm at 45 degrees and select this uh, four corners. So select separately. Select this, not this face. We select this edge only. Okay. And select this one edge also not face we select age only okay so here we apply the chamfer to this corner so it looks better so here uh, go to the seat metal now here we unfold this part so we first we select fix and we unfold this seat metal now again select this face right click sketch normal and here we create the center line so we uh, just create the center line from this midpoint of this uh, bending line so we create up to here okay so here we can create the center point straight slot from this midpoint of this center line so we make the also center line so basically it is useful for mirror to this uh, sketch so just we create center line here also okay so go to the straight point slot select this midpoint and create a straight slot up to here okay so now it did this sketch go to the smart dimension and do here we uh, select this line and make it 50 mm length okay just we make it 50 mm select this point 
and this one and make this length uh, 7 mm okay so here it's time to make the mirror so go to the mirror entity so it's like this straight slot center point okay and just to mirror to the center line so here we make the extruded cut to this sketch so go to the extruded cut and make it link to thickness so it will cut this portion now here is time to uh, again bend this seat body so go to fold select fix face and then collect all bend so it will be selected all the bend just we look how we cut out this uh, extruded cut to the sheet metal okay so again we uh, we are create uh, just unfold this sheet body so select this face and collect all bend so it will so here we create the circular sketch for cutout to this face. So we must we make a center line from this midpoint. Okay. Go to the circle and here we create circle from this one. Okay. And now go to the smart diameter, select this circle and make it seven diameter okay so we create this circle again go to the smart dimension select this edge and this circular point and make the gap 12 mm from this upper edge okay now again go to the smart dimension select this outer edge and this circular center point and here we just to make the gap between this uh, we will create 30 mm okay so here it's time to make the linear pattern to this circular sketch so here we create linear pattern now we just create so go to the linear pattern and here it it will ask entity to pattern so select this circular sketch okay so here we uh, make the distance so we will keep distance 12 mm okay and here we just make the entity 7 number of sketches will be 7 okay so here we create the center line from this uh, center point to this one okay so we just make the center line also and select this midpoint and create up to here okay go to the circle and create the circle from this uh, point okay so here again go to the smart dimension select this circle and uh, make it 7 diameter okay so here we make the gap between this circle so here we just uh, make the gap 8 mm so make it 8.5 mm okay so again we are uh, do the action like linear pattern same wise so go to the linear pattern select this sketch and here we will make the gap 12 mm so distance will be 12 mm and here we will need uh, seven numbers of pattern so make it pattern will be seven okay so here we again make the pattern to both uh, linear pattern of this sketch so go to the linear pattern and here it will ask entity to pattern so we separately select all the circles so it takes time to uh, select we can uh, only uh, select separately for pattern we just select separately okay so here we can change the angle so make it 90 degree and just make it reverse 
so it will comes upside so make it reverse direction so it will be uh, comes below side and here we make the distance so make it 7.2 mm uh, gap okay so here we will uh, define the intensity so we just uh, increase this one and here we will keep eight numbers of pattern so make it eight okay here we just make the mirror to this circular sketch so select this sketch and here we make the mirror so select this center line okay so look how we mirror this sketch to this side so here we make the extruded cut so go to the extruded cut and here we will select link to thickness so we will cut this sketch also so look how we do this and here we can see the flat view of this sheet metal body so here we can bend so go to the fold select this fixed body and select collect all bands so it will be uh, selected automatically all the bands we will apply to this body so make it and bend this uh, sketch this sheet metal part okay so look how we will uh, unfold and fold this uh, command in sheet metal so look how we fold this sheet body so here we can uh, make this sheet metal uh, for cutting purpose so we will give the dxf file for cutting any sheet metal body so look how we will create dxf file and save and we will uh, give the this dxf file for cutting to laser cut cnc purpose so look how we can do this and create dxf file so it is the flattened view of this sheet metal so here just we save this file in dxf format so we just save this part so we can save this part to create dxf so look how we save this this body now here we just uh, apply the appearance select this one okay now here we save it go to the save as and here we make the name and here we make the file name dxf so it will save in your destination so we will tick the sheet metal okay so here we can give the also bend line but uh, we will see how we create the this dxf file so we will do this in sheet metal so look how uh, basically it is autocad file uh, laser cutting will also apply only dxf file for uh, sheet metal cutting so any design we will cut uh, and later we will bend according to this uh, dimension according to bend radius so we will prefer in any company for this laser cutting so basically dxf file is must so look it is the autocad dxf file so we will save this in our destination and later we perform the action for cutting so look how we create and just save it so it will be saved to your destination so look how we create this sheet metal part in solid work so i hope you will enjoy this tutorial thanks for watching